welcome back to All About That Disney Life. I am Danny B, the girl who is all about that Disney life. We now move on to the Santa Claus 3, the Escape Clause, which came out in 2006. So let's get to know this cast. Tim Allen was Scott Calvin, a.k.a. Santa Claus. Martin Short was Jack Frost. Elizabeth Mitchell was Carol Calvin, a.k.a. Mrs. Claus. Judge Renhold was Neil Miller. Wendy Crewson was Laura Miller. Lillian Mumby was Lucy Miller. Alan Arkin was Bud Newman. Anne Margaret was Sylvia Newman. Spencer Breslin was Curtis the Elf. Eric Lloyd was Charlie Calvin. Aisha Tyler was Mother Nature. Peter Boyle was Father Time. Michael Dorn was the Sandman. Jay Thomas was the Easter Bunny. Kevin Polak was Cupid. Art LaFleur was the Tooth Fairy. Abigail Breslin was Trish. And Bob Bergen provided the voice of Comet. Now we move on to the facts all about Santa Claus 3. Number one, the production. The movie was shot entirely at Downey Studios in Downey, California, with Elvesburg Village being shot on stage one and the suburban scenes being shot on the studio's back lot. The looks for Jack Frost and Mrs. Claus were originally different. Frost's initial appearance was more of an English 1960s look that was more impish and elfin, but the threat level was not up to the level that director Michael Lembeck wanted. Costume designer Ingrid Farron designed a new costume for Frost with a velvet zoot suit feel. Mrs. Claus's initial appearance was based on her end credits dance scene in The Santa Claus 2. In that scene, Elizabeth Mitchell wore prosthetic makeup that made her appear round and chubby. After the second day of principal photography, Lembeck was not seeing any emotional content in Mitchell's performance due to the amount of makeup they applied on her. Number three, the release in the box office. The movie was released into theaters on November 3rd, 2006 in the United States. This movie made $84.5 million in North America and a worldwide gross of $110 million. Number four, awards and nominations. At the BMI Awards, this movie won a Film Music Award. And at the Young Artist Awards, this movie was nominated for Best Young Ensemble in a Feature Film, but a loss to How to Eat Fried Worms. That is a good movie. Side note. Number five, bonus facts. The subtitle was originally intended to be used for the Santa Claus 2, which could be seen in earlier teasers for the movie. This is the only Santa Claus movie not to end with Santa flying off into the night sky riding his sled. This is also the only Santa Claus movie that Bernard doesn't appear since David Krumholtz was unavailable. And this movie was released into theaters on the same day as 20th Century Fox's Borat. Number six, the good points and the bad points. Once again, this is based off of the internet's perspective of whether this was a good sequel or a bad sequel. So for the good points, fans are saying that it was a great plot. They're also saying that this was a good movie for the whole family to enjoy. There were a lot of laughs. The movie also has a gorgeous take on what the North Pole looks like. And fans also liked the imagination and different twists in the movie. Now for the bad points, fans are saying that this movie had a mediocre ending. That this movie lost most of its charm. That it was a major letdown as compared to the other two movies that this movie is hypocritical and insulting. And basically this movie is about a dysfunctional family. And there you have it, all the facts to the Santa Claus 3. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you have a zippity doo da day. Goodbye.